Hi, and welcome to Girl Talk. We are here with my friend Hilary Dahlenberg. It's been a great day today. This is one of those days where I, I sort of feel like I could put my fluffy robe on and yes. just talk to friends because that's exactly what it's like. It's um, beautiful out, but we're getting some much needed rain. Thankfully. And so Hillary and I had this great thing that we were going to talk about. You know, we're all so buttoned up about everything. But then as we're talking about, it was really kind of interesting. We're talking about the good stuff that's going yeah. on this time of year. School's almost starting. The boys are next door playing with the parrots. Yes. And they're so grown up. How old they are the boys are. now? Um, they are six and eight, turning very quickly seven. Seven and yeah, nine in September and December. So what happens for school? What is school like? We're going back to school. That's Our school when I starts um, August 12th. Okay. And we've got a variety of scenarios, but for their ages, they are going to be in family style classrooms, which oh, means I love they that. stay okay. all day. And their teachers come to them, they have lunch in their classroom, they go outside for recess, outside for PE. And there are some kind of like mask break instituted throughout the day so that they don't have to keep them keep on, mask on all, all day. Time. And I honestly don't know if the little ones are gonna have to because they've gotten plexiglass dividers okay, for their table. So hopefully during in-classroom instruction, they won't have to have their mask on the whole time unless it becomes necessary because of closeness. I laughed today. I was on Amazon, of course, because yeah, right. that's what we do now, right? <laughs> that is what we no, do. No, but I was looking at go safety glasses and goggles. Yes. I almost bought a box. I should have and brought them to everybody. They have these adorable safety goggle glasses that you can put on to go to school. Oh. And they're hot pink, royal blue, gray. Oh, that's cute. They're adorable. Adorable. Do they go over your nose too? They go over your nose, oh. and you do, yeah. And and if even if you wear glasses, you can fit them right over. I mean, it's what oh, that's workers, interesting. It's what, um, construction workers have worn forever and a day, but yeah. now they're like fashion fashion forward. So oh, like the big like lab well, goggles, kind of like lab goggles. Okay. That's a better way of saying it. Yes. Okay. A little dorky. I need to look at those. You got to look at them because they're really yeah. kind of cool. And I noticed that both your boys had their mask on, which was pretty. They fun. do. I mean, we found some cute masks at Harris Teeter. They're like very um, comfortable, like yeah. lycra type style, and they're four dollars. So I've got oh, packs of them. Got lots of yeah, yeah. Uh, me too. I, I know. Used right? to have a That's very dish, cute centerpiece you got there. Yeah. <laughs> but we have them just in case. Heaven forbid someone not have these. Looks like somebody made some of those out of underwear. Didn't well, yeah. It? Right? Do these <laughs> not look like panty masks? It's embarrassing. <laughs> I shouldn't say that, should I, Jen? It's Hello. okay. <laughs> but it is all colors of yeah. It's, it's called COVID humor. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I guess that's what it is. <laughs> One of the things that we were talking about seriously, yes. though, was that you noticing in real estate, real estate is great. Yes. Younger families. Yes. Why, it's, why, why? I, it's kind of fun for me because there are people my age um, moving here. They're discovering that they really can move here and speed up their timeline for being on Hilton Head full time by 10 or 15 years. Oh, wow. Um, simply because they've got the work from home flexibility now. Mm -hmm. So a lot of the buyers that we're seeing are not simply people who say, OK, we're going to retire now no they're still working um, they're bringing their school age children mm -hmm. here they're enrolling in our schools um, I would think that would be a fantastic boom for our economy too. yeah I think so it's 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 nice it's um, it's kind of a it's the silver lining to right. this whole disaster right now is that we are seeing a lot more young families come so it's it's nice for our family to make new friends how has it impacted you all are you doing more family things are you um i have not ever played so much badminton in my life <laughs> right and yeah. you know we've got the goats yeah. we now have a new bunny oh so i haven't seen the bunny all kinds a lion's head bunny oh those are beautiful it's did you get it from becca i got it from becca oh. and his of course I did. I've told her I no bunnies. Say no. No rabbits. I said no rabbits and no bunnies too. So we have three. Yeah. Just right. <laughs> right. We have a no rodent policy. Okay. Um, <gasps> anyway, I know. Anyway, but we do have two new kittens, two quarantine kittens, little black kittens. They're adorable. So the boys have learned, uh -huh. you know, a little bit of how to pick up and clean up. I've taught them Chinese checkers. Oh, and isn't that fun? The yeah. stuff that we did when we were kids. Yeah, right. Right, and they, I don't know, we've got our little pods, you know, that mm -hmm. we that we play with on a regular basis, and that's been really nice. It's just, it has brought everything home a bit. Okay. Um, because I don't want to take them out a lot because I don't want them having to wear masks all, all the, the time. All the time, and, exactly. And, you know, so we're, we are, you know, 
we are home based. So I was going to say from a real estate standpoint too, do yeah. you all pretty much work from home or, or what are the rules of the road now when it comes to... For showings and yes, everything? Yes, exactly. I was okay. really curious about that. So there aren't these um, like fly-by-night showings, right? Okay. If you if you want to see a house, then you're, you're serious about it and everybody is taking precautions. So masks are worn. Um, mm -hmm. as, you know, and maybe even gloves too, if the home is occupied. Okay. That makes sense. Right. Yes. Um, and we're trying to keep socially distant. So, um, frequently my clients are not in the car with me, okay. which is a different procedure. Scenario, yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, and that's so tr I never thought about that. Cause that's sort of that processing pre and post. It is, but it's also that close shared airtime yeah. that we're all trying to avoid. Mm -hmm. Um, and so it's a it's it's a little different from that perspective, but it also encourages you to sit down before you leave the house instead of processing in the car. You're processing on property, which maybe is more effective anyway. Do, do you ever do? Um, I don't know if it's Zoom or do you ever do showings that are virtual? Oh people? sure. Oh do, okay. So yeah. that's that's not like particularly new in this environment. No, and we've always done videos for our properties too because we think that that is um, so much more helpful in placing somebody in the home. Oh. Um, mm -hmm. So that, walk through. yeah, mm -hmm. that is very helpful. So the videos are very helpful. And then when they've got specific questions about a home, go to the home, get them on FaceTime, walk through it in real time. Do we think fun. that people are looking at this and saying, you know, it's, it, it may be nice to have two different environments to come and go to. Yes. Because we are staying a little bit yes. closer to home. It's funny, I was thinking about in the 80s when the word cocooning came out. Oh. You were teeny little. I don't, yeah. Cocooning was people who, um, they were staying home more mm -hmm. and cocooning. And it was kind of a trend where in the in the 60s and 70s, you know, moms were out working and all right. that. And then pretty soon in the 80s, everybody's like cocooning and coming home and dinners and all that kind oh, of stuff. Oh, that's nice. It's that is really, what we're doing now. Exactly. I think that's yeah. exactly, it's, it's so funny. It's like latchkey kids. These are words that I grew up with at 67 that my kids are like, what? I've never even right. heard that. Right. I've never even heard that before. Are you all having, um, getting together with friends sort of in the street? And I've, I've heard a lot of that kind of fun stuff. We are. Too. We have a neighborhood gang okay, cool. that hangs out and they bike ride and they play basketball yep. outside and they swim and you know, everything is as outdoors as mm -hmm. possible. So we're so fortunate to live where we live. So during this if time. people want to talk to you and they want to find out kind of about real estate now, yes. how do they find you? I know how to get to it. Oh yeah. Right. <laughs> you can just Google yeah. us. Okay. I mean, it's, it's Hillary and Eric Dahlenberg. We're the Dahlenberg team at mm -hmm. Carolina real estate, um, Carolina Realty group, I should say. Mm -hmm. And, um, we're everywhere, you know, we're on Zillow. We're on Facebook. We have a website. They're in the community. Their kids are in school. They're yeah, all right. over the place. You can find them. I love talking to you. It's always fun. Thank I you, I want Debbie. to thank all of you for taking time out of your day to spend some time with us. Yes. I think it's fun. I think it's interesting. I think it's informative and it's all about the love country. So thank you for joining us here on Girl Talk. Have a great day. Bye-bye.